Come and join us today at Universal Studios Florida. They have a brand new parade starting through November. We're going to show some new Ghostbusters merch. Finally, try Mel's Diner and, of course, check for updates. All right, today we're at Universal Studios. Studios. It's Studios. And what are we doing? We're going to try Disney. Disney. The new parade is yep. tonight. We're hoping it doesn't the rain and we're also going to see some Ghostbusters merch. Yes. Yes. Mega movie parade. You ready? All right, let's go. Let's go. Wait, let's go. and that's a stay puff. Look at this huge minion float. Obviously, for Despicable Me 4, which technically comes out today. We're going to try to go see that on Friday, though. And today is the first day of the parade, so we can't wait to check that out. It's under technical rehearsal. So I don't know what's gonna happen. This is a hot one today. So bloody hot. There's no shade, we're already sweating. And we haven't entered the park yet. Anyway, it's gonna be a good day still. We're gonna try to eat while we're here, see Gwen if she's out, and see the parade, of course. All right, we're gonna ask the green shirt people what time Gwen comes out, hopefully. We didn't miss it. We had to drop our friends off at the airport. And uh, then we just came right over. They have a cute photo op over here for the movie. Lots of uh, advertising for Despicable Me 4. Oh, there's there's Gwen's relative. What was her name in the movie? I don't remember. So they said that Gwen is not out today. We have to check back. It's going to be Rosita and... Johnny and then minions meet outside the ride so we don't know when she's here which is kind of a bummer because today is a big day for the parade and they just announced her so yeah kind of silly we'll come back and uh, try again later we're always coming back here Optimus is out we're gonna go eat at Mel's diner or drive-in because we have not the new menu and a burger sounds good yep oh my gosh i love the burgers you love the burgers i think so yeah he like liked these, it last time i like these kind of restaurants yeah me too cheeseburgers <laughs> okay so it all smells good great and they were slammed it took about an extra 15 minutes than what was quoted from the mobile order which isn't bad but i actually felt bad for all the workers because i've worked in food service rick works in food service and we totally get it there was just a lot of people coming to eat lunch and i ended up watching this nice tia making all these milkshakes so i ended up ordering a couple of those too because they looked really good all right we got our burgers here we got burgers all around well we got two burgers we got the crispy chicken sandwich right here with onion rings, chili cheese fries, crispy chicken tenders, and the burgers on sesame seed buns. And then we got cookies and cream, dessert, and the strawberry lemonade pie. All right, so we got the milkshakes. They do look good. They have vanilla with like some, uh, what are they called, vanilla wafers? And chocolate with the Oreo. Buddy Boy's already calling that one. They have strawberry as well. You already showed the pie. Rick's saying it tastes the same as before, so not the best restaurant maybe here. Pumpkin, how is your burger? Good. Is it good or is it just okay? Good. It's good, okay. Well, at least she's happy, I guess. We'll see. My chicken, the breast looks kind of weird. They don't have a uh, honey mustard either. But it looks, shouldn't it be like flat? Look, it's like, it's, it's like, like, a, it's like folded. A big, piece of pre a big piece of chicken just it's breaded. It's folded, but like on the picture it shows it's like flat. Just weird. We'll see. I'm kind of sad about no honey mustard. They charge a dollar per ranch packet here too.
and honestly we weren't really impressed with the food here we've had better options we are making the best spots to eat at Universal and unfortunately this isn't going to make the cut it wasn't the worst food that we've had but there is better options here and unfortunately Universal has a ton of burger options I wish they had more chicken places or something else and I bet you Epic Universe is probably going to be in the same boat hopefully there's not too many burger spots okay so they said they got new merch for the ride or the, for the new movie so they have the frozen empire here they've got this one the tank top and their little mini marshmallow guys are eating a ghost for 30. yeah that is for a tall person how much is it yeah that's that's it's, for uh, 90 bucks 90 okay and that's 55 for these pantalones so we have boxer briefs you can get undies they've got these little duckies these are expensive though they have ray they have all of them it's 30. for venkman winston ray egon and slimer oh yeah yeah, it's Ghostbusters like little gun. And then they got socks. I like the socks. And they've got little hats. This one was on sale. This was on sale online. It's 70 here. It was like 30 or 40. Alright, so there's one chaser in the each box. And the worker saw us. So this one glows in the dark. Only one per box that they get. And it has a pin in the mouth. How cool is that? I gotta say thank you to Leo and Gabriella. So they do have a Ghostbusters hat too for $29. Oh, and they have a nice hoodie. So this hoodie is $55. The front, so that's the back. The front just has the, the vehicle, the XO1. Oh, and then over here too, I got slippers, a little state puff, and we've seen the that last time. Yeah, good the green plant out. Let me smell. Ew. Smells no, like it smells like it smells like so, but it doesn't smell like ET. And they have a state puff backpack that is $55. My one is actually cheaper. That doesn't make sense. I got my shirt from Amazon, but they have this one here too. For 30. I think I paid 20. Oh, that's cute. And then Ducky with the state puff marshmallow man. This is cute. This is Slimer when he's on this and it lights up. Oh, that's adorbs. Department 56, yep. We like those. How much is it? 75. My mom would go crazy over this. She had all the sets, well, like for Christmas. <laughs> the library, the firehouse, the Acto, State Puff, and all four, right? All four Ghostbusters? They have them. Um, Peter, okay, yeah, they have them. Um, Winston, I was Ray. Talking, I thought you were talking about these. And Aegon. Sort of. Limited edition Chase. That was really nice that that lady did that. I love her. So as of right now, the parade is at 6 p.m. and when Halloween Horror Nights, I believe it's going to be moved to 2 p.m. I would get there at least 30 minutes early. The spots did fill up quickly. You can always stand behind someone, but if you want a front row view, get there as early as you can. Because of the lightning, it kept getting delayed, but thankfully it did happen. It just got delayed for about 15 minutes. We got really lucky. I'm going to do my best with the copyright music and of course give our honest reactions. Marty and Doc on the next float. Talk 
Pickle rehearsal, they're still gotta fix the um, music. That's okay, I love it. Yeah, oh look, look on the other side.
the first Jurassic Park, so that can't be for that. Is that the boy from uh, Camp Cretaceous? I see Claire. Or just from the movie? Hi. Well, that's the Jurassic Park. Oh, there's that Owen. Is that Owen? Owen Grady, put your hand out like you're, you know, Owen Grady. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> like, called dinosaurs, that kind of supposed to be Claire or something. these videos below if you want to see some more awesome universal parades the top one being an old one the superstar parade that we had it was before the gimbal so you'll have to excuse me and the second one is the holiday parade which is still my favorite overall